Hi, how is everything going? I hope that all of you are safe and sound. Today we are going to revise the dearest branch to your heart. Guess what is this branch? Yes, it's grammar. Let's start with the first type of questions. Put the verbs in the correct form. The piano play by Dina yesterday. Don't Please don't jump into answers. You have to read the sentence thoroughly and carefully, okay? The piano played by Dina yesterday. Yesterday is the key word for past simple, okay? But here the piano, the piano, is it the doer of the action? No, it doesn't play by itself, okay? So piano, it is an object. So once we talk, or once any sentence starts with an object, it's passive. When we talk about the passive voice, two things should pop in our mind. Verb to be and the PP. Verb to be, it is a copycat. What do I mean by a copycat? It means it imitates. It imitates what? It imitates the tense uh, in the, of the original verb. What's the tense in the original verb? It's yesterday. So I want verb to be to be put in the past tense, either was or were. The piano, excellent was and the pp it's the past participle past participle the verb of the original uh, uh, of the original sentence should be put in the past participle what's the past participle of play it's played okay number two ahmed just finished his homework okay just just is a keyword to which sentence to which tense sorry to present perfect and present perfect consists of what? Has or have and the PP. Ahmed takes have or has. Excellent, has. And where should we put just? Should we put it after the PP or after has? Exactly, we put just between has and the PP of the verb. What's the PP of finish? The past participle of finish, finished. Excellent, excellent, Ahmed has just finished his homework. Okay, if you win the lottery, you buy three yachts. Okay, this is if conditional. Lottery, it's not something easy to happen for anyone every day. Okay, it's somehow difficult. Somehow it's, um, it's a kind of imaginary thing. Okay, so when we talk about imagination, when we talk about something difficult to happen, we use the zero, no, Okay, the first, no, it's the second conditional. And the second conditional consists, as we know, if conditional consists of the if clause and the result clause. The second conditional, the if clause, if clause past simple, and in the result clause would plus the infinitive. So what's the past simple of win? Excellent, it's won. So if you won the lottery, you would buy three yachts. Number four, my brother always bother me. Okay, as I have just said a few minutes before or a few minutes ago, please don't jump into answers. My brother always, yes, always is the key word for present simple, but wait for a second. This sentence, is it something good for anyone? that my brother bother me, it's annoying habit, it's a bad habit. So when we talk about a bad habit with always and forever and constantly, we use the present continuous and please take care of these kinds of sentences. So my brother is always bothering me. My brother Always buy me lots of sweets. Always. Miss Noah, you have just said that always, constantly, and forever, when, it come, when they come with annoying habit, we use present continuous. But is this an annoying habit? It's not. It's a good habit. So we use the present simple as it is. Okay? So my brother, hmm? Yes? Always buys. Excellent, we add S. So far, so good. Super students. Number six. I 
have just run out of papers. I have just run out of paper. Happen now. So the result is based on my decision. My decision now is I will buy. It's a sudden decision. Okay? So talking about the sudden decision, in the future we use will. Excellent. So will plus what? Perfect. I've just run out of papers. I will buy a pile. Again, the if conditional world. If I be you, I study hard. Okay? Here I'm advising. Okay? I'm telling you, please study. Please study. You're not studying. If I, mm -mm, you, I mm, study hard. Am I talking in the zero conditional? Is it a fact? Is it science? No. Is it something easy to happen? No. Is it something difficult? I am advising you. So when we talk about, okay, advising someone, I use the second conditional. So if I, and we said second conditional, past simple, would plus infinitive. No, it's wrong. Don't say ever I was. Even if it's I was, yes, I know that was, Okay, in the verb to be in the past, but no, in the if conditional, the second case in advising, we use I were. Please take care of it. I were. If I were you, I would study. Okay, so far so good. Number eight. Again, if conditional. If Ahmed makes red with yellow, he gets orange. This is what, this is what, this is the science. And when we talk about science, we talk about facts, you talk about the zero conditional, okay? So zero conditional, if present simple, result clause, present simple. So, hmm. If Ahmed mixes, excellent, mixes, shall we put just the S? No, because it ends with X, we put the ES. So Ahmed mixes red with yellow, he? Gets excellent orange. This morning I go to school on foot. This morning is the key word for which tense? For the present simple? No. Yes, it's a past simple. Excellent. So this morning, what's the past tense of go? It's went. This morning I went to school on foot. I live with my family, but this week I stay with my uncle. These are two sentences, by the way, okay? The first sentence, I live with my family. This is what? This is a permanent situation. This is permanent situation. I live with my family. I don't live with anyone else. So when we talk about permanent situation, we use the present simple. But when I said, but this week, there is a reverse in the action. There is a reverse in the sentence, okay? The, the only this week, it's a tem, hmm? temper, temporary, excellent, temporary situation. And when I talk about the temporary situation, okay, that happens in a short period of time or not for a long time, we talk about past, uh, present continuous. So I, excellent, live with my family, but this week and only this week, I am staying with my uncle. 11, the dinner just cook by mom. Don't jump into answers, okay? Read thoroughly, please. Just, yes, it's present perfect, I know. Itself, no, so it's not a subject, it's not the doer of the action, it's an object. So since and once a sentence starts with an object, we talk, we are talking about a passive voice. Talking about passive voice, two things should pop in our mind, okay? Verb to be and exactly the PP. Verb to be is what? Exactly, it's a copycat. 
copycat means it imitates. It imitates what? It imitates the tense of the original verb, okay? What's the tense of the original verb? We have the keyword for it. It's just perfect. So, I want you to put verb to be in the present perfect. Has, have, mm. super, has, just, been, and the PP, the past participle of the verb of the original sentence, which is cook, what's the PP of cook? It's cooked. So the dinner has just been cooked by mom, and by the way, mom here, it's an agent, okay? It's the doer of the action. I taste the pasta for extra salt. As we took, okay, last year, the taste is one of the state of verb. What state of verb? State of verbs are the verbs that based on our senses, no action happened, okay? No action happens. But here when I say that I taste the pasta, here it's an action, it's a dynamic sentence. Why? Because I am, it's for a person, I am tasting the pasta to see if it wants an extra salt or not. So this sentence is for a purpose, okay? It's not based on my sense, it's based on the action that I am doing. So in this case we use the present continuous, excellent, so I am Tasting, perfect. Cross the E and put the I-N-G. Number 13, she study for her exams yet. Where is the key word in this sentence? It's yet, excellent. Yet belongs to which tense? Present perfect. But yet only comes, okay, under two cases either question or negative. So despite the fact, okay, that there is no, there isn't, not here, but since it's a statement, wait a second, don't cheat. But since it's a statement, okay, okay, uh, uh, sorry, since it, it, it's, it's not an interrogative, it's not a question, we have to put we have to negate the sentence, okay? And bear in mind, and don't forget that yet always comes at the end of the sentence, either question or negative. So here, she, present perfect, has or have, plus the PP. So she, excellent, hasn't. What's the PP of study? Studied, it's a piece of cake. She hasn't studied for her exams yet. Last but not least, for this segment, mom said that she watched a nice film the previous day. Do you remember mom said that, Peter said that, I said that, it's what? It's reported speech, okay? So this sentence, it's in a reported speech. What proves my word, okay, the previous night What's the original form of the previous night? Or the day before? It's yesterday. Excellent. So this sentence, it's in a reported speech. So past simple, when I report the past simple, I change the past simple into what? Into past per perfect, excellent. Past perfect consists of what? Had and the PP. So mom said that she had, excellent, watched a nice film the previous night. The last one. I think Ahmed be a singer in the future. The f in the future, okay, it's an indication that this action in the future time, okay? So in the future, we either have excellent will plus the verb infinitive, or be going to. Which one am I going to choose? Think, 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 hope, bet, sure. Excellent, will. Why will? Because think, okay? And it's a prediction with no proof, okay? So I think Ahmed will 
be a singer in the future. Thank you for this seg segment. Stay tuned for the other segment. Thank you.